Hey everybody, welcome back. So there may be a little bit of background noise going on here. Some bad boys came into the neighborhood, started chainsawing trees around eight o'clock this morning, a Saturday morning, which was fine with me. I was up at six o'clock, but I had a few neighbors, I think roll in around two or three o'clock in the morning, younger neighbors, and they're probably, they probably weren't too happy about that. But anyway, that's gonna be, if there is any noise that you hear, that's what it's gonna be. And I got my cat with me, so you never know. So anyway, this is Grace Vanderwall doing a cover version of Cat Power's cover version of Phil Phillips' original version, uh, 1959, released in 1959, that he did with the Twilights of Sea of Love. Uh, I grew up on this song in the late 60s. I was a young kid. I heard it. It was still, it was a regular on the radio. My mom loved it, went around the house singing it. It's a, it's a really nice song done by Phil and the Twilights. I had never heard of Cat Power, so I went ahead and went and listened to her version that was released in 2000. It is quite nice. She has a lovely voice. It's very melodic. She slows it down a little bit. I liked it a whole lot. I liked it, I think, as much as I liked Phil's version, frankly. It, it was quite well done. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be a little bit sucky because it's only a minute and 13 seconds. <laughs> anyway, thanks to the F Grace, Fander Grace Vanderwall fans page for putting this up. That's where I got it. And uh, yeah, so Grace has got her guitar, which she's getting a whole lot better with, as we saw in the Milk performance <laughs> and a few other performances. So I'm really curious to see what Grace is gonna do with this. My prediction is it's gonna be a little bit loungy. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be a little bit loungy. So what do you say? We, I think she did this on TikTok uh, a day or two ago. So here we go. And thanks to the Grace Vanderwall fans folks for putting this up. And here we go with the Sea of Love cover. Come with me, my love. Wow. To the sea, the sea of love. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start it all over again because, because I want to, because it's Grace. My God, she drags it out even more than Cat Power did, a lot more. And the words uh, resting and resting on a word and pulling it out, pulling every bit of emotion out with that enormously fantastic Grace voice. I just love how... She lounges out a song, for lack of a better way of putting it, that, that gorgeous, almost sort of sultry, lounge singing style of way back. So let's just, I just want to listen to this again. Come with me. With me. My love. Wow, the way she does that love. To the sea, the sea of love. I just want to hear that. I want to hear that whole part again. I want to tell you. I want to hear that again. I just love how she does that. This is only a minute long anyway, so what the hell? Let's just listen to this again. Back it up a little bit more. Wow, that's nice. Oh man, yeah. 
Yeah, just too damn short. Come on. Damn. Wow. Yeah, how would you like to have that on when you're with your loved one? Damn. I mean, it's just so different. It's even quite a bit different than Cat Power's version uh, in 2000. Uh, I mean, she just, she pulls it out, lengthens it out much more. Uh, lingering on words, pulling every bit of emotion and flavor out of her words, which Grace does. And it just lets you truly experience the words and the meanings and the emotions. That's what she does when she does that. Man. Man I mean, I don't know if this was spontaneous or what, but man, it was just amazing. The, the chord work on this was pretty simple on the guitar, but she did it well. But I mean, that was, boy, I hope she ends up, like I've said many times, I hope she ends up doing a full version of it. It'll probably be four minutes the way she sings it instead of Phil Phillips. I think it was two minutes and 20 seconds. Back then they did two minute songs. You know, she's going to make this four minutes long and we will love every freaking second of it, won't we? Yes, we will. All right. I just really, I mean, not much more to say about that, except that it's that Grace Vanderwall voice the way she will authentically pull out her own emotions on a song. And I'm, I don't want to get into saying I like this more. I, I like this more, but I really like the other two also. So I guess I said it anyway, didn't I? All right. I'm really curious to hear what y'all have to say about it. And um, I'll look forward to those comments. I'll catch y'all soon. Take care. Bye.